Scrap wood? Climbing wall. We're gonna make some climbing holds. And these climbing holds, they've gotta be easy and they've gotta be fast. They've gotta be really fast because I don't have a whole lot of time. So if this is gonna interest you, stay tuned and watch. Also, I gotta warn you, this video is gonna have very minimal editing. So if you wanna watch a highly qualified, oh, just a super quality edited video, go watch a movie. And then come back and hang out with me after that. My folding saw horses. I really like them. This is the biggest piece of scrap I could find. So that's gonna be our table. You know what? That's gonna be our table. So, I've already ripped down a few boards. One thing that I wanna have out of these folds is that it's gonna be easy. So I'm not gonna have anything that's more than a 45 degree mitered edge. If you go a little bit steeper than that, it seems to be a little bit more challenging to make those cuts. I'm pretty sure you can do it. And I'll show you the reason why you might want to do that, but for this, we're just going to keep it at 45. So I have these three boards right here are going to make up multiple holds. I'm going to stack them together. I'm going to make several at a time. If you want to go fast with this and efficient, make them make a lot at the same time. So I've got this lined up. So they are all gonna be nice. This is gonna be the back of the hold right here. And then after it's assembled, we're going to then miter the front of it. When we're putting this together, you wanna start from the top. So I'm gonna mark out on here where I want my holds to be at, and I'm gonna and drill those holes and place the washer in the back side and then build it up from there. So let's go. Where's my tape measure? I'm always move, losing my tape. Tape. All right, I got my tape measure. There for a long time, I just decided that I was always going to have the tape measure on my hip. So it was like a part of me and it's nice, but then it falls off a lot, especially when you're climbing around on the backside of the steel and you break it. Six inch fold is gonna be pretty good. So we'll go to six. 12 and one eighth, 18 and a quarter, and then a 24 and three eighths. Comment down in the description below why I am adding one eighth of an inch to each one of these lines, if you know. Okay, got my square. Now these Right angles are dumb, but they're easy. Hey, you guys can come in. Checking out the wall? Yeah. It looks cool. Yeah, you can come in. And, what? You can come in and look if you'd like. You might appear in a video. What? You might appear in a video though. This is good. All right, cool. <laughs> cut on this side, cut on this side. Cut on this side, cut on this side. Okay, and we're gonna go. We're gonna put this bolt right smack dab in the middle of these folds and that's not always ideal because then it gives you the chance of a spinner but you know these beautiful new walls i don't want to put any screws in it so we're going to put it right in the center Bye. all right why does that look wrong oh yeah that's because it is wrong okay there we go. climbing chalk saves lives it does okay so if you look here we've got about three and a quarter about as good enough for this and we want to have that bolt hole sitting about in the middle, which is actually going to be 
way this way on the hold after we're done. But that, it'll be fine. It'll be okay. Um, so let's see. One and a half, one and five eighths. That would be that would be center. But let's kick it over here. Let's kick it to one and three quarter. So that is going to be the bolt hole. Now I need to have a drill bit for a pilot screw. And I'm gonna use these guys right here. This is the Mulwark countersink drill bit set. I have used, and let me just stop right here. If you guys are gonna be making wooden climbing holds or wooden volumes, you will do yourself a huge favor if you get some countersink drill bits. I have used now the, the Mulwark brand, I have used the DeWalt brand, and I have used the Snappy brand um, countersink drill bits. I waited way too long in life to get a set of these. I'm super glad that I have them now. Uh, this is a really good set. Way better than the DeWalt set that you can buy at Home Depot. This is way better. Now, it's not as good as the Snappy bit. And I'll have, I'll have a full review just on these in the future, but uh, links down in the video to check them out. Just, we're not using the countersink portion of this. We're just using it as a pilot hole. Beautiful. Do you like, do you like my paddle bits? I've had these paddle bits forever and I love uh, the case. We're gonna use washers for the bolt to press against the wood because if you don't have a washer in there, then your bolt is gonna chew up the wood and you're not gonna get very much use out of them. And it would be nice to use grade eight. If you wanna make a climbing hole that's gonna last a lot longer, use grade five or grade eight washers. I always use just the run of the mill washers because they've always worked really well. However, they're getting kinda cheap. Like they're thin, they're getting thin. So it's unfortunate, but you know, for these, still running the mill, general washer. We're gonna flip this over onto the back side. This is a Makita. I am changing tool brands. And I thought I was gonna go with Milwaukee. Uh, I've used their stuff from other people, borrowing it, and I've liked it, but I bought some Milwaukee's and they just didn't seem to be very good. So I'm gonna try Makita. So far, I'm really liking it. We're just sinking that in just a little bit. So this washer will sit flush in there. Maybe even poking out just a little bit. Let's drill the other ones. Now we're gonna drill for the bolt head. If you are using standard bolts or SAE bolts, you can get away with a 5 8 bit for this. It's gonna be about perfect. Uh, otherwise, use a, the 3 quarter inch or the equivalent in millimeter to 3 quarter inch. Probably 18 mil. So, 5 8 paddle bit. We're going through the front of it now, all the way through. Get it out of there. We're gonna turn that upside down. Wood glue, now we're gonna lather this baby. Make sure you scrape this glue over the entire surface. Somebody once told me that where the wood glue isn't, it isn't. Scrape it around. Get it everywhere. We want to make sure that this is a good, nice bond. Also, if the motion of scraping and spreading it around, I've heard breaks that surface tension and gives you an even much stronger 
cold. I don't know if that's true, but I like the sound of it. Where it is, it isn't. No, wait. Where it isn't, it isn't. All right, line that baby up. Now, if you have 10,000 clamps laying around, you would just go ahead and clamp this. But I don't have 10,000 clamps laying around, so I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna screw it. All right, see all that oozy goozy stuff? Yeah, that means that I got a lot of glue in there, and that's good. I want a lot of glue in there. I'm gonna turn this off and see if I can find some rags to clean up that glue. Be right back, in a flash. Got some. No more drilling at this point because we're gonna go three layers. So we just need to sand all these burrs off. Get this nice sand block here. That's clean. Yes, I am. That was way too much wood glue. That's what happens when you're in a hurry, I suppose. Put that over. Transfer our cut lines back here, and about right there. About right there. Ah! Move it. I just got glue on my head. Let's put a screw in. This glue is somewhat dry now, so I can go ahead and continue with the work on it. Also, we are trying to finish up on this build, and some of the Rockworks crew is here late, so you're gonna hear some background noise from them finishing up the wall. Maybe at the end we get to meet some of the crew. So, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna mark the center of these holes by taking the 5 8 inch paddle bit and slowly turning it so I get that center. And then we're gonna drill that out with a 7 16 Oh yeah, I'm five eighths away. Pull out my 7 16 Now you may be saying, Sam, this is a 3 8 bolt. Well, yes it is, but I wanna have a little bit of play in there and most 3 8 inch washers are actually oversized holes, so I don't have to worry about drilling through that. The glue is not all the way dry, but I don't want to be here all night. Ideally, what you want to do if you're making quick holes, before you cut them into their individual pieces, you want to get that, that hold, that shape that you're going to be climbing on or grabbing your main part uh, shaped out. You can do it really fast if you do it all together. And then 
chop them in, chop them up into individual folds. We're gonna have to do that uh, one at a time now. Kind of unfortunate. Okay, so I've got the table saw set up here. That's at a 30 degree angle. 30 degrees just seems to work really nice. So this is cut at 45, there you go. And got this fence set up so it doesn't dip under the stock fence. And if you look down the face, you'll see, it's not focusing, but this saw blade is gonna cut through and come through right about in here. And then we'll put a little bevel on this side as well. So you'll be able to wrap around. It'll be easy to sand it down. Hey! <laughs> See that? So we have a little bit here, and then it's flat, and then a lot of it here. That is going to make a nice hold. Easy, nice, beautiful hold. All right, the next step, the star of the show is going to be this guy right here. Yeah, the angle grinder. Okay, so the angle grinder is going to help us carve this out. I'm going to use this carving disc right here. I get this one at Harbor Freight. Uh, there are some online that you can buy, but you know what? This works pretty dang good, and it should be available more online. But you know, maybe I'll see what I can do about that. And then a flap disc. I have flap discs that are designated for wood. As soon as you touch metal with these flap discs, they're no longer good for wood or they're no longer uh, going to carve the wood. And, and they're made for metal. You want to get a metal flap disc, an aggressive one. But as soon as you uh, use it on metal, it's, it just doesn't eat away the wood like it should. Yeah, there we go. Nice and solid. Let's put the carving disc on there. Let's change over to this guy. If you think it's a good idea to go freehand and just hold the, the hold, the piece in your hand and use a power tool, you're crazy. Let's hit this with the orbital. There's one, there's one done. Lots more to go. Wonderful. That, that, that sucker is tall. Thank you for hanging out with me tonight. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time right here on Climber Dad.